another letter from my friend Ferguson the Wombat. Ferguson is from Australia and he is an amazing adventurer. He likes to write me lots of letters to let me know all about his travels around Australia. I've got another one today. Would you like to read it with me? Last time we were talking with Ferguson, he was getting dressed and ready to go out for the day. He's going to get his portrait painted, which is very exciting. But unfortunately, he was getting a little bit distracted. Shall we see how he goes? Hmm, still a fine looking rump, he muttered, altering his position to get a better view of his rear. Oh my! <laughs> There aren't too many rumps as fine as that. He turned around again to admire himself from the front. Well, Ferguson, he said to himself, you need a new titba. Tit for hat. Hat. If you're going to have a portrait painted for everyone to see, then you'll want to look your best. He took his watch from his pocket and lifted the lid. It was a large round watch on a chain, which had belonged to Ferguson's great, great grandfather and had been passed down from father to son until finally Ferguson's father had passed it on to him. Oh, that sounds special, Ferguson. Do you have anything special like that? I do. I've got a crown from my mum. <laughs> the watch didn't work anymore, but Ferguson liked to wear it because he thought it made him look important. <laughs> anyway, if time couldn't pass on his clock, then he imagined it would give him all the more time for thinking, and wombats do lots of thinking. Oh no, Ferguson! Did we ever make this mistake? I think I'm a bit more like Ferguson. If I don't see the clock moving, I kind of forget about time. What about you? My mum ever says, Rapunzel, we've got to go in five minutes, and I don't put a timer on. I often get duck right back into my craft and forget all about it. So what I like to do is make sure that I set an extra timer. Whenever my mum says, Rapunzel, just five minutes, I like to start a five minute timer or even a two and a half minute timer. That way, in two and a half minutes, I know time to pack up because it takes me about two minutes to pack up. <laughs> and that way, I don't make everyone wait and nobody gets upset at me. I don't like it when people are upset at me. Do you? When you have to remember that you've got to go somewhere in just a little bit of time, what kind of things do you like to do? Let me know down below. Shall we see if Ferguson was late for anything? Ferguson stared at his watch for a few more minutes and then snapped the lid shut and looked back at himself in the mirror. He nodded. Yes, a new hat is in order. Heads and tails, they're important things in life. An important hat for an important head. That's what I need. <laughs> With that, Ferguson left his burrow to find a new hat. Ooh, this sounds exciting. Wombats usually sleep by day and get around by night. So Ferguson always found it hard to be awake during the day. Hmm. Waddling along as wombats do, Ferguson made up a little song to help him walk faster. And Ferguson wrote me the song lyrics. Should I try and sing it? Alright, let's go. I'd better get moving, waddle and stump. The sun is high in the sky. If I don't get moving, waddle and stump, the day will pass me by. Oh, Ferguson, what a fun song. This does remind me, though, of what we were talking about before with losing time. If I don't get moving, waddle and stump, the day will pass me by. Hmm. I know that sometimes, when I kind of forget how quickly time goes, or even how much time I have, that I do miss out on things in the day, because I'm not thinking about what needs to happen. Especially when I'm getting ready to go out in my kingdom, and I have to do things like put my dress on and find my tiara, and make sure that the castle guards know that I'm leaving, because of course the gate is very heavy, and if I don't get all of that done, I can be sitting around my room all day. That's a bit boring. So what I like to do to make sure that the day doesn't pass me by is write out a list of things the night before with my mum and my dad of the things that have to be done so that I can go out where I want to go. These things aren't just like chores. Mm -mm. But even things like making sure that my tiara is near the door because I always have to wear it when I go out to a big event. 
or making sure that everyone who's going to help me get to that event knows that they're going to help me get there. We even look sometimes at the route that we're going to be taking and see if it's busy, because if it's busy, we might need to add a little bit more time on. Being part of these conversations, even though I'm not really doing everything I need to do and make sure it happens, makes it easier for me to remember why I have to get ready as soon as I get up. Because time does move quickly, and sometimes I forget that. If you're like me, and you find it easier to know what's going to happen, so that you understand why things have to be done at a certain time, let me know. <laughs> I'm curious to see if anybody else is like me. Thanks so much for reading this letter with me. Hopefully there's another one next time I see you. Goodbye.